a hundred dollars where? Right here, right here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this, then you probably already seen my um, Daytona weekend vlog that just went up. And if not, I have it right here. Um, you'll know why I sound like this. I sound horrible and I'm tired, but the show must go on. And we have not done a grocery haul in so long. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna show you guys the groceries that I got to try to like get back on track um, on my healthy eating. We're still trying to lose weight, y'all. We, we're doing good. We're, we're doing excellent if I, if I could just say so we actually are almost out of 230 pounds y'all and i'm gonna literally scream like it's gonna be like i hit the lottery because y'all long time coming i mentioned it in the last vlog so i won't talk about that but anyway so i'm gonna basically uh talk about i'm gonna show you guys the groceries that i got and then talk about how i try to buy groceries when i'm trying to watch what i eat you guys know that i'm calorie counting currently because i'm trying to lose weight and it, point blank period is just easier if you are very simple with your meals. So of course, um, I kind of just stick to making meat, veggies, and uh, like a starch sometimes. I don't really make stuff that will require a lot of ingredients such as like spaghetti, meatloaf, lasagna, like, you know, recipes, because it's just a lot of stuff you're putting into it and then there's a lot of stuff you have to count and check and the calories are just gonna add up. So, everything is pretty simple and straightforward. The only thing I really have issues with is snacks most of the time. When we think of snacks, we think of like chips, like cheeses, like a lot of processed and like bad food. And of course there are healthy snacks. So my favorite go-to healthy snack you guys already know would be like protein bars. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of built bars. So like I have a big box full of mixed flavors. Shout out to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Um, Y'all know I've talked about Built Bar before, I love them. So my favorite flavors are the cookies and cream and then any of the white chocolate ones. I've had the white chocolate cookies and cream and the white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. Oh my God, amazing. But most of them do come in dark chocolate and they're pretty good too. If you really like dark chocolate, I prefer a milder chocolate. So the white chocolates are really good. Built Bars are low calorie as well as low in sugar and they're 17 grams of protein. So if you guys wanna check them out there's a link in the description box that'll give you 20% off a lot of my snowflakes have already checked built by art and they really love them so if you haven't get up on it what you're doing you late you're losing it you're you're just not you're missing out if you're worried about the texture of built bar i have said this plenty of times and i'll tell you guys every time i talk about them candy bar mushy chewy think of a candy bar with a lot of caramel or like nougat filling that's Built Bar and it is amazing and I love them. So another snack that I also, I don't have any snacks because I really just been having my Built Bars for my snacks, but another healthy snack would probably be like a protein shake. Cause again, you want to kind of get protein in every meal. Um, and if it's a snack, it's kind of hard to do so. Cause we always, again, think about chips and crackers and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I got. I'm going to start off with, I don't have a lot. I went to Publix and it was a hundred dollars and then y'all going to be like, $100 where? Right here, right here. So anyway, um, as far as drinks, I try to drink everything low calorie or zero calorie while I'm in a deficit because you don't want to eat, you don't want to drink your calories, you want to eat them. So I try to keep my liquid calories to bare minimum. Um, I have a lot of bangs this go round because sometimes I go back and forth with my pre-workout for the gym or I'll just have an energy drink. So I do have Bang Rainbow Unicorn and I got two of them. Bangs are really good. I also like the Rain brand and of course the Lani New um energy drinks that are pre-made and then i have two cotton candies as well at public they was two for five so yeah so those of course are zero calorie but as i mentioned if i do have drinks with calories i like to keep them to the bare minimum so these are ginger so these are canada dry bowl ginger ale. i absolutely love them they're real gingery <laughs> they're good as hell and i get the small cans because they are only 90 calories so if I am gonna drink my calories, I do like to try to keep them under 100. So even sometimes you can do that with juice if you just have like eight fluid ounces and actually have to weigh them on the scale. I know that it's a lot, but you gotta sacrifice for what you want, right? All right. So going to protein, I have most of my uh, grocery haul is protein, of course, because you guys also know I like to focus on a high protein diet. And if you wanna know why, you should check out my body recomp guide that I'll have in the description box right here. And yeah. It, 
body recomp is lit and it's mostly focused around getting your protein in and progressive overload at the gym. So as far as protein sources for this week, or this is probably last about a week and a half, I have, y'all, I bought snow crab that was already de-shelled. De-shelled, is that a word? I don't know. The snow crab was out the shell, baby, and I was super excited. Like, y'all, it is long pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, because I'm probably gonna eat this tonight, so you guys can see. So this was a pound, and it was only $5.86. And it's quite a bit of crab. Y'all, look at this. Do y'all see this? Like how much crab, uh, crab this is? A whole freaking pound for six dollars, no shell. I'm just gonna like pan, like saute it in the pan with some butter, and this is what I'm gonna eat tonight. Y'all, this is a lot of crab, and crab is ex and crab is very low in calories. Now I've never checked the protein on crab, so you know that's bad. But I'm pretty sure it's not that bad because most seafood is high in protein while also being low in calories. So that's why I love it so much. And most of all the protein I got is seafood. Well. Huh. So I feel like such an idiot, you guys. I ate that crab yesterday, sauteed it in butter. It tasted weird. I thought I cooked it weird. And I looked at the packaging again and it had a word on there I didn't know. I think it was surimi or zucchini or something. And I looked it up and long story short, that word was Japanese for ground meat. So yeah, I was eating imitation crab and that's why it was so cheap and I feel like a fool. 9 to 10, would not recommend. So, cause the next thing I got was just salmon, and it's three pieces, y'all know what salmon looks like. As y'all have noticed, my snowflakes have been around for a while. I started getting my seafood from the deli. So that's why it's like in these little white packages instead of how like, you usually see it in the plastic. Um, and that's just because it's more, I think detailed is the word, I don't know, because the salmon is skin for you already. Like I said, I got crab out of the shell, that would, you would never find it anywhere else but the deli. And then sometimes um, I'll get shrimp from the deli because it's already peeled and stuff for you and cleaned. And also they have different like seasonings. So Publix has salmon that's like bourbon, I absolutely love it. And then they have another one, brown sugar, and it's really good as well. And it's always at the deli. So I started getting my seafood at the deli so i also have some chicken wings because the air fryer wings are just like one of my favorite things to do and chicken is a fairly lean protein uh at least those are you know the chicken thighs are the fattier of uh, or the fattier meat uh, or the fattier cut of chicken so try to keep your meat lean because i love beef and beef is a fatty meat so make sure if you do eat beef you get lean just to save you a bit of calories the fattest meat I got that I shouldn't have got, but I really was just craving it. I couldn't help it. Y'all, if y'all know, y'all know. My snowflakes know. I was eating this so much at one time. I haven't had it in quite a bit. So it's just a uh, pork sausage. Isn't it pork? Yeah, it's pork sausage. And you know, since it's pork, it's not as much protein as it should be for the calories, but I like it, so hey. I also got um, these tuna packets. And now I was getting tuna in a can, but I like it because this is like a complete serving and I don't have to like have some of the can because I can't eat the whole can. So anyway, I like them in the packs for uh, convenience purposes. And I got the herb garlic and I got two of those and then two hickory smoke. And I really like to just make me a sandwich and put it on my panini press. So I'll just open the pack, put a little mayo in it and mix it around. And then I'll uh, put it on the bread and put it on my panini press. Probably about to eat that now. I haven't eaten today, so probably gonna be my little lunch today. And to finish up with our protein, I just got some cracked turkey breast, um, cause turkey is amazing in protein and also lower in calories. And y'all, sandwiches are an easy way to get your protein in, because when I make a sandwich, I always put an egg on it for the most part. And that's, um, and eggs, of course, we know are high in protein. Now, and I didn't buy any, and I'm low. Uh, and also, you can put like about four ounces of turkey, and it'll probably be around 20 grams of protein. So, sandwiches are a great way to get your protein in while also being filling. So those are the protein sources that I got. And then for, I guess you can call it just dairy, because all I have is just some mustard cheese for my sandwiches. I like to put the mustard cheese on my tuna melts. That's what it's, it's called, a melt now. And then also the turkey bread. So that's just for my sandwiches. And going to our produce for this grocery haul, I got some squash and onions. Uh, I made this before and what I eat in the day. Saute it, y'all. Super good. Add some diced tomatoes or stewed tomatoes, or you can even add fresh tomatoes. Love this. I really love it over rice, but you know, it's good by itself too. 
I got some broccoli florets, and y'all like, I always buy the same veggies. I bet y'all know what the next vegetable is gonna be. If you know, you know, right? Brussels, got me some Brussels sprouts. And I also picked up the seasoned pinto beans with onions, Margaret Holmes brand. Now I have never uh, tried this before, but I wanted to try it. I've really been into beans. Um, there are some beans from Whole Foods. The brand is called Dozen Cousin, and they are absolutely my favorite. They come in the little baggies, like the mac microwavable rice, but I can only find them at Whole Foods and I didn't go, but they are so good. And speaking of rice, I got my minute rice in these little cups and I like to get my rice portioned out for the same reason I like my tuna portioned out. It's just, I already know this is my portion and then it looks real pretty when you cook it in the microwave, simple. And then you turn it up, tie it down on your plate and it's just very, very attractive looking. And again, also portion control. So that is why I will take, so that is why I'll go ahead and buy it even though it's not the most economic way to buy rice, but yeah. And last but not least, y'all, bread, because bread is how I make my sandwiches. And I also like to eat bread, and bread and, um, with my breakfast, so like this or like a bagel. And when I do get bagels, I get the thin sliced bagels because it saves on calories. And it's just, you're gonna add cream cheese. Bagels is just something that's gonna be a lot of calories, so I try to cut them where I can. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, my grocery hauls are really simple um, because again, I try to eat simply because the more you put into your food, the more complicated the food recipe is, the more more calories it usually is and it's just more work trying to track it and also more room for error so if you guys are still here leave me a grocery card emoji because it's a grocery haul and check out other videos from me here on the screen and i'll see you guys in my next video